Well, basically, I got evicted uh, from a council flat. Uh, the reason I was in the flat was uh, a year previous to that, my wife died, and I couldn't stay in the place where we were because it was converted for disabled people. So they moved me on to another one. I didn't realise that I was suffering from depression. No, you, you don't. Okay. You don't know. So uh, I stopped opening letters, things like that. So I, I ended up. I cocked up basically. I didn't read what I should have read. Go and see people. Ended up, I got evicted, and uh, they sent me down uh, to the council first and foremost, and then the uh, the housing officer sent me across here to uh, Hope, and uh, that's how I ended up here. A uh, bit of a daunting experience, to be quite honest at first. Never been in a place like this in my life, and you know you don't know what to expect. And everybody's yeah. for different reasons. Drugs, violence, things like that but I didn't find any and I found the people were very, very uh, nice people. Well, I suppose I had the stereotype that anybody that stuck needles in their arms and everything else was just filth, you know, scum of the earth, but they're not. They've got their own reasons for doing it. And people do things for... Yeah, there might be people like me there as well. You know, fortunately I don't take drugs. I would definitely tell people not to uh, bury their head in the sand, actually come f more forward and if they can, before they get to this stage, go and talk to people or come down here and, and talk to people. There's people here that know the system, they know what's going on, you know, they, they won't bite you, you a cup of tea and sit down and a you know, quiet talk. But if you ask for help at an early enough stage then it can prevent... I know why, yeah. Uh, that's, there's a place around the corner, they call it Populars, the church thing, and on a Wednesday this place closes down for a couple of hours so your staff can have a meeting and, you know, mm -hmm. things like that, do a bit of know, administration or whatever. And you, you have to go out, and this Populars, they give you uh, sandwiches, cakes, tea and everything, all for nothing. Well, it's a church oriented thing, but I would have never set foot in there in my life just because of what I was looking at, the people, you know, the stereotypes, they're not, they're fine, you know, once you get through that, it's uh, swallowing your pride, you know, if you've always stood on your feet all your life, it's a big step to sort of ask somebody to help you with something, it really is, but I would definitely say, don't be frightened of it, but speak to people more than anything else, don't do what I did and stick your head in the sand, because it, don't get you anywhere.